Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am ready for my foot rub. I'm ready for my swallowing. This is the Joe Cronin Show. This is the AEW Review, and you are the people in the chat who want to be sexily tantalized. That's right, you know you do. You want to be tantalized. I know you do. I know you feel that way. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Uh. I can feel it too, man. I, I know. I get the feeling, man. I can feel it. I know it's real. It's very authentic. What's going on right now is the AEW review get, gets underway here. And as we look for Jake DeMarco in the Lost and Found. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm in a weird mood. If you're in the chat, I know you got a big one down there. Oh, it's real. It, yeah, it's real. It's very real. This is the AW review. What's going on? Ryback, you get the hell out of the chat, Ryback. Get out of the chat, Ryback. You psycho mongoloid. Get out of the chat, Ryback. I can't believe I can't even believe you're here. I can't even believe you're here. Can't even believe Ryback is here. Ridiculous, Ryback. Guys, what's going on, man? Tonight it's the AEW review, and I feel Weird downstairs. And I mean down there. AEW Dynamite. There were some there was a couple of really damn good moments on this show. And then the rest of the show for me was just sort of a blip. Like it was just like a whatever moment type of thing. I don't know, man. Like we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Alright. I hope everybody had a good day. I was entertained by the inauguration today. Uh and all the stuff that went on with that. And then, you know, I built some stuff with my wood, you know. Uh, and I don't mean my privates. I mean, like I was, I had some wood stuff that I woodworking and stuff I was doing, cleaning a house, hanging out with the kids. Jake had a doctor drill into his face. Um, it was quite the day, man. Quite the day. And I think that a lot of people here, uh, were feeling it. Yes, indeed. You got your mouth cripple over here, but, uh, we went ahead and it was an interesting show. Like you said, there was some really good stuff, but, then it kind of was, uh, it was a tale of two shows in a way, you know, there was a really good show and then there was a not so good show and it kind of combined between the two. I mean, there was, there was a show that felt like a real main event TV show, but then the, the second half, the bad part that you're referencing, the bad, yeah. the bad part was worse than dark. Exactly. It all just kind of fell apart. And then the ending they gave what six minutes to for the main event. Well, dude, first of all, the ending was a mess, and they rushed everything because they literally ran out of time. They also I, I rushed the everything. Chat. I'm like, this has to be going over. So. Well, and they literally did kind of what WWE did. They needed that extra thirty seconds, and Jericho took an extra fifteen thirty seconds because he hurt himself almost. So that was yeah. a slowing. He slowed up for a few seconds there. And Yet again, he did. When every little second counts because they're up against it, you know, landing a move, probably because they're rushing. I'm assuming that's the reason he might have gotten almost, he almost, he really almost got hurt. Luckily, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, because usually they're more careful. But like you said, under a time crunch, there's a lot of scrutiny. So they're trying to rush things along spot to spot to spot. And it ends up getting messed up and people can get hurt. So Right. Look at what happened with Matt Hardy tonight as well yeah dude oh my god did he almost die or what he, um, he almost got creamed a couple of times so good lord been dude. game over for him he went over the top rope and like got throat hung up on the bottom rope that was like one of the worst things you can have happen like the mr mcmahon shit one bomb. here comes a shit bomb you become a shit bomb oh there's jcs foot rub uh, all elite uh with the one dollar uh, super chat earlier thank you jcs uh foot rub all elite. Much Hell appreciated, yeah. brother. What's going on, dude? How are you? Um, thank you, Foot Rub. Yeah, Jericho was a mess tonight. He was blown out. He was out of shape instantly just with Sammy. Yeah. Poor poor Sammy trying to make him look like a million bucks, but 
Yeah, it was Jericho was a little bit behind there. And I, I, like I said, I, I'm a big guy, but I'm not in the wrestling ring. You know, Jericho, what are you doing, bud? If I was, if I knew that I was going to get paid for that kind of money to to be in the ring like him, you know, absolutely, you put your put yourself to it. But uh, my God, he's just he's letting himself go, and I'm surprised because he used to be so dedicated to the quality of his work, and he was such a workaholic. His work rate was top notch always because he kind of was the pinnacle of entertainment. He held himself to a standard for so many years. <laughs> well, he I'm just not needs sure to why that dropped off. Stop drinking what about it. Yeah. He's just drinking the same, if not, I'd say the same that he always was, maybe, and maybe more because in you know in WWE you kind of had to be on your toes a little more. Yeah, you know this is more like, hey, let's have a party. I'm in AEW. I'm the king, and like this. They don't you never to- hear anything about AEW testing for alcohol wellness, wellness violations. I've I've never heard of them doing any type of like drug testing throughout the time that we've we've been talking about them. I'm not saying they don't. I've just never been made aware of them doing, you know, regular testing. Well, they're not going to tell you. They're just not going to tell you, Jake. Well, usually that's you. kind of a, a publicly stated thing. That's what I'm saying. And I've never heard anything about it. So I'm just messing around with you anyway. No, I, I know. But <laughs> it's just, it's funny the way that, you know, we, we, you know, they're tight lipped about it. So it makes you wonder maybe they're not testing anyone over there. Yeah, Could you know, be. they might not know. be. They might not be testing. A th- I mean, they don't have because to. Because they're not held by a board of directors, I don't believe, like, you know, WWE is because they're not publicly traded. So, Mikey uh, K9 in the chat, he's a member in the JCS chat. He became a member. He's got the nice, he's got my face. I mean, let's face it. He's got my face. That's always a good thing. He says, you would think Santana and Ortiz would be the winners. No, you would think that. I picked uh, Jericho and MJF. Uh, what does Jericho and MJF gain? Well, they're the stars, man. I think they're going to... They're the two top talent, and that's where the story is going. And likely they won't get the tag titles. It'll probably be where MJF either screws them or Jericho fails, and then MJF can take over that way. Like, there's, there's, there's a story they're telling here, obviously, but... Yeah, most likely that it's Jericho's bad idea, because MJF already set the stage for that earlier. He was like... You know, I obviously I don't know if I agree with this. I wouldn't have done it, but you know, he's our leader and we got to do what he says. So he's already starting the seeds of you know, oh, I didn't think it was a good idea. You know, Jericho, you kind of made a dumb idea, Jericho, and he's going to whatever. And maybe that gives Jericho yeah, time to like he's setting up seeds just like Trump saying there's fraud in the election. Yeah, like, he you know, was they, very I, it started very very early. Yeah, it's uh, very similar. It's kind of funny. It's like very similar. So to that. it's like minded. Yeah, exactly. No, it's just a it's a funny reflection of that situation. Shit. <laughs> shit bum. You become a shit bum. Thank you, Ryan Romano. I don't have a big one. I'm sorry. You don't have a big one, Ryan Romano? Are you kidding me? I don't believe it. I always thought you had a girthy one. I, I I'm shocked. hung like a horse. This is ridiculous, Ryan. Ryan! No, I think he's lying to try and make us not feel bad. No, I. Th- you know what? I think he got sick of all those like thirsty little DM kisses I was sending him, and this is him trying that to be like, be yeah, He's just trying to deny, you know, deny it. Yeah, yeah, like cool it. It's not really like that. So stop DMing me. But he didn't want to say that. So I understand, man. I get it. I think I get it, man. That's I didn't think of that, but uh, that's huh. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Honestly, Amen. though, tonight just had a lot that, that just didn't work, I feel like. They they went ahead and they tried a few things. I'm not crazy about the Impact stuff going on. Like, Private Party are going after the Impact tag team titles. Okay. You know, they got Matt Hardy over there with them. Tony Khan was on Impact last night. They obviously had the Private Party match where they became the number one contenders. It it's just it doesn't interest me honestly. I I don't have any interest to go back and watch Impact at this point. Kenny Omega. It doesn't matter who went over there. I I just don't want to watch Impact. I'm sorry. Yeah, I checked out a little bit of Hard to Kill, but even that was like hard, hard to watch. <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty. The funny. Ethan Page stuff with Karate Man was so ridiculous i i don't even know ripping his heart out like what to make of it it's so ridiculous that it's like a good kind of ridiculous but still bad right it's like a multi it, it, it's 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 like a multi-layer sandwich i thought it was fun um but like only for a little while yes i agree with and that maybe entirely. that's the... not something i could do regularly 
it could be because of the empty arena. Like it's so much worse because their impact is sort that of that plays a huge part in it. They everybody needs an audience right yeah. now, but especially yeah. NXT and especially Impact. It, NXT feels like it's falling to pieces. It just feels like it's all spots right now. There's no story. There's no because they need that passionate fan base to make everything come alive. Without it, it's just there is no pulse. Yeah, you know, it's like basically. Um, it's like when WWE didn't have an audience at all and didn't have the Thunderdome. It's like Impact is performing in front of zero. That's why AEW comes off the best because they have this little smattering of humanity there. So like it, it, it still comes off like there's a live atmosphere going on here. And it's outside. Something about that too feels better. But Impact feels so like it's being recorded on this little sound stage or whatever you know what i mean like it's just yeah, so weird exactly and it looks and it feels like a sound stage so that's the problem it feels like theater to me when watching it and and, and that's the, kind of the thing I, I know some people really <laughs> like it and I'm, I'm glad they do that was wicked funny i'm sorry i had to <laughs> dude <laughs> you were I'm, like eh, like i don't know like, i mean i'm in <laughs> flatline stutter mode over here with my I know your tooth is a, you know a hole in your mouth I mean, the anesthetic and all the weed I just smoked, it's its a—it's fighting me, so. Oh, my God. I couldn't help it. I made it. Not full of pain. I no, I can't it, believe so. you're here. I mean. <laughs> but, yeah, honestly, I know some people are, are, are really, really enjoying the, the crossover, and I'm glad they are. I want them to have fun. I want people to enjoy the wrestling stuff. Like, it's not a detractor in any way. It's not hurting the product for me, but it's just nothing that I'm overly excited for. And that was part of the problem tonight was some of the stories – they didn't really click and and the other things that wasn't what the main story was uh the only thing i enjoyed out of that was the dark order stuff in the very beginning so yeah i i you know obviously the stuff at the beginning with brody's son that was great that was just fun i don't know why it was just so honest and real and sad and and fun though at the same time like it was nice i actually liked it so like it's i didn't mind that and then and then, dude, the stuff. Let's talk about the best thing of the night besides that, because that was pretty good. But the Don Callis stuff, I fucking love. I mean, we've always loved Don Callis. I've always said it. The guy's great, and we've he was always good. Liked that, him. That's what I'm saying. I, I like his acting. I, it just doesn't entice me to watch Impact. I like it on. No, I, like I, I don't care about AW. that. I'm just saying he's entertaining the shit out of me. Like, um, oh yeah, I liked what he, he. You know, I don't. I don't want to say Nick and Matt went. Oh damn it, I said it. You know, <laughs> he's just he's entertaining. He's good and all the bug stuff that he brings up and he. I like him. You know, he, he is. He's he's another character, and you know they, they've got a lot of characters going on right now. So they got to start being a little careful. You don't want it to turn into too many. You know, monkeys in the zoo. You don't want everyone running around like crazy. I think that if they don't start taking some people and, and, and elevating them a bit more as, as more of a serious star, like how they handled Moxley for a while, he fell a bit, especially after losing the title. But they need that top-tier talent. So hopefully they can elevate a few people as fans continue to be let back into the buildings. I do want to say that there are multiple ways to donate to the stream. Some people may be wondering where the donation links are. There's always going to be multiple ones because I've got these new ideas and different ones I'm throwing out there in different creations and a new uh, sponsorship with somebody. So the uh, Super Chats work. Uh, you know, the Streamlabs always work. Stream Elements down below as well. You can do that one also. There's different ones. They're listed down below. I don't think I've fully listed them the right way. But one of them is the, the major one. You can use credit card or PayPal. People have been asking me about that, credit card or PayPal. Is pinned to the top, the new donation link, um, just because I updated a lot of things on it, transferred things. So that's up there, pinned to the top. Or you can do Super Chat, or you can do the ones down below in the description box. Whatever you want to do, there's a whole bunch of different ones. People have been asking me about that. And shout out to the top dog, who is right now Ryan Romano, AEW Review. Man, God, I thought the painting was hilarious because it was so, dude, it's so obnoxious. Don Callis has been staying in character everywhere, like... Like, yeah, dude, I didn't watch wrestling. Like, I don't, they're like, what did you do while you were gone? He's like, I don't know. I did my, what I did. And I don't watch wrestling because I do it the best. Why would I watch somebody else do it worse than me? You know, I know what I'm doing. And he's just, he's really turning into this exactly what I've been looking for for a long time in wrestling, which is just people that like remind you of Bobby Heenan a bit. And he's really in that role. He's not, nobody will ever be Bobby Heenan. Nobody ever will be Bobby Heenan. I wish. You know, you know, MJF even, you know, really seems is a lot like Bobby Heenan. Um, 
I wish that I was working with a company so I could be a prick and they could just let me be a prick to everybody. But Don Callis is a legend with this. He's so good with it. Um, I really enjoy him. It's a little weird. It's not the greatest thing. Kenny, again, will be better if Don Callis can be better. And if Don Callis, the, be the, more, he's, the more he pours his stuff on, the funnier it is. That stuff in the house to me was really funny. I liked the conversation with the Young Bucks, I guess. The oil painting was was a nice touch too. Yeah. They oiled up that their privates. Funny. I was building a I was building a Greased table. Them down. I was making an end table while watching it and I uh, <laughs> I enjoyed you were, it. You were woodworking. Ooh. Tell me more. Did well, you grease I have, it up? I have the wrong parts, so it's like the funniest thing that I have the wood and like I just got a new saw and all You have the wrong parts, so I've you're got a got tranny the, woodmaker. I, I, I got, I got the wrong part. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Shit bomb. I got the wrong bards. You become <laughs> somebody clip that. Shit bomb. <laughs> somebody clip that. Sting and Darby versus Taz's goons in a street fight at the PPV. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Sting and Darby versus Taz's goons. I mean, I kind of like that part too, even a little bit. I really liked Darby coming out at Three's Company. Thank you. Come on, knock on our door. Uh, they really put over Darby on commentary, which I thought was really cool. I thought Sting kind of put him over pretty well, too. Sting put him over huge, and, and now this is all leading to a big matchup, which I'm not sure if Sting's going to be involved or what. It kind of seems that way, but I'm not sure what to make of it. But I like that Taz was very, you know, himself, accusatory and pissed off and angry. And Ricky chimed up, and, you know, I like what he had to say as well. It, you know, you want to take it, you know, we'll, we'll put the ball in your court and, uh, you know, if you're ready to take it to the streets. So I'm guessing it's going to be a street fight. It seems like it's going to be a cinematic match. I think that's what they're going for because it'll involve Sting and it'll be a street fight. Um, you, yeah. You think that's the case for this? I mean, I if Sting's going to be fighting, then they have to be doing some type of cinematic style. Um, yeah. I, oh, God. I don't I wouldn't I wasn't thinking they would do that, really. But you might be right. Or maybe that they would pre-film it, but it would still be shot like it's live. Even if they do that, I, I just you don't know? think it's going to be live. I think they'll do something. It, it'll be edited or, it, you know, it, it won't be a live fight with Sting, a live match. Right. I don't think they'll do it in front of fans like that. They'll do it, you know, in the back parking lot so they can film it in sections and stage things together. And just like the, you know, the Boneyard match. Same idea. Right. Yeah, yeah, that might be... Uh, I think they'll try and make it look like it's all live or happening at once, but the, the, I, I, I think that's the only way they can do it with Sting, honestly, at this point. He's 61. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they, I mean, I, I thought he was going to play some kind of enforcer role, too. Like, you know, you guys jump in. I'm going to jump in with the bat and do something. Yeah, people are complaining because they're saying that Roman Reigns is challenging uh, The Rock for WrestleMania two years from now when they go to Hollywood, so WrestleMania 39. And that's been the plan we've been talking about for months because The Rock only wanted to do it in Hollywood with people. But that's besides the point. It's just baffling over the fact that people haven't grasped this yet. But they're saying that'll be too late. That'll be too late. You know, that's too too long. For the Rock will be 50 then. He's 48. Sting's wrestling at 61. Are you kidding? You know, The Rock will still be able to compete at 50. Right. I don't doubt that he'll be able to still get in the ring and do something. Right. Yeah, the, but The Rock is just... Man, he's like an athletic specimen. The Rock took it easy in the ring, you know. In, exactly. In so I ways. think he can definitely do this in two years and not look like a fool. Yeah, Sting, though, is, yeah, on the other hand. But Sting's 61 with severe neck issues and spinal stenosis and all sorts of, you know, clearances. It's It's been a, a long career for him. So yeah. I don't see them doing anything live at this point, but I like, Sting whispering into Darby's ear and then kind of being like, and then, you know, they kind of walk off after agreeing and saying, you know, be careful what you wish for. And I, I liked, I liked that whole segment. It just, it really worked. Yeah. I thought that was nice. Um, I think they did a good job with it and I liked it. Yeah, I did. That was another thing I like. I could choose the three. And it, it makes me curious to see what they're doing going forward. You know, what what are we getting out of this? Is it going to be cinematic? Is it going to be? That's why I like the beginning as well, because we got the, the kind of the swerve, even though it was obvious to me that Hangman wasn't going to join the Dark Order. You know, he's done with groups. He wants to go solo. So it was upsetting after they had this nice, you know, celebratory moment 
I like that Luther went into Kinda the cake. Like, that why was funny. Why did they do that? Why did they do the thing with Hangman? Like, I, I think that it was something to do for the past few weeks, and and he was involved to begin with, and it was a nice touching addition to have him throughout the like the tribute matches, and I think this was intended to happen a few weeks before. I don't think it was supposed to stretch on as long as it did, but then Brody unfortunately passed, so they just kind of kept it going but i mean brody so wasn't there right anyway away. though so it was kind of like i just felt like it was like yeah but i, I think the that? story that they were telling was was more of just a backstage thing like i don't think it was really meant to be like on or air. like they're looking for the leader so they're gonna bring in people and almost get to test them well they've been maybe. trying to recruit people forever and and the original joke of it was that when hangman was at his lowest he went online and hit to join dark order.com yeah and signed up <laughs> and they never they never checked the email Right. So Brody beat the shit out of everybody for not checking the email to recruit Hangman Page. And that's when week after week they tried to recruit people and that's how There you go. John See, and- there's the connection I was trying to make. Like, where's the connection yeah. here? And that was it. I wasn't thinking about yeah, that at all. Yeah, You're right. So. That's there you go. So like that makes way more sense. Like that yeah. that's that, there had to be something missing. Shit here's a donation. Bomb. You become Oh shit. A shit bomb. Whoa, the sound wave. Easily five Hell yeah. tenths. They had a lot that either didn't click with me or great moments that were too brief. Also, Jericho and Matt Hardy need to retire from the ring. Oh my god. Also, sign that dude Nick Carmoto. That dude is a beast. Thank you, Soundwave. You're a beast. Forty dollar drop from Soundwave ninety two. He's a psycho. Soundwave, you're gonna be the top. Let me give it to give it to me. Ready? Top dog. Soundwave ninety two. You are top dog, baby. How about that? <laughs> the other one says, Jake's a true AEW fan. I said, it's funny because so many people say that I hate it too, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, that was really just, good. No, there's just a lot that I really enjoy, and, and I really do like the stories and, and what they're telling with it. And, you know, it, it's, it makes sense. I, I think that was just added a few weeks to it, but I like what they said, and, and it, 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 it's, a, you know, it's just, it's, that's the best way to put it. It's logical. That what they did is logistical. I appreciate it. I he already got screwed over by his last group, and then he got screwed over by the elite right after with his best friends. They kicked him out. So why would he join another group? He, he's obviously got you know group PTSD. So Hangman that makes sense. That fits his character. And but now I hope they keep trying to bring people in for a little bit and stick with this because it's been fun. And I, I think that they're just going to keep um, Evil Uno being the leader at this point, though. That seems to be the plan. Yeah, I it, just stick with the original guy, and if you're gonna bring somebody else in, make it a big thing, almost like when they brought Brody in, or yeah, I don't know, dude. I, oh God, would you? How much do like, you want only, them? Like, who else could they bring in? Marty Skrull, if he was he had his name cleared, you know, someone like that that was yeah. originally intended to if be he, would be a big deal. If but it would not, have to be a big name like that, or else yeah, you would. Why not elevate someone from within and and you know give them the the nomination? If that Marty takes sense. time off from diddling underage women. Like I think they should definitely get him over there. Get him get him in the group. You know, it'd be a he good replacement. Takes a break from the forcing sexual encounters, then he will gladly be welcomed in AEW. <laughs> um, do you think he's is he really in that much trouble? Do you know? Because I don't even know anymore. It seems to be. I mean, he lost that cushy position in Ring of Honor, which was great. Not only was he their top talent, but he was their booker too. So, and I, he he clearly didn't want to lose that position. And it seems like he's kind of been blackballed. So I, 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 it, <laughs> I don't know if he's in that much legal trouble, but he certainly, society-wise, has paid the cancellation price. He's sort of flying under the radar with it, though. Like I feel like he's barely like everybody knows about Jerry Ryan or Jerry whatever or uh, no, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, God damn, what's his name? Uh, you know the pee, pee, the peepee guy. What is peepee? Slam Joey him. Ryan. Joey Ryan. There you go, Jerry Ryan. Yeah. He's, yeah, everybody, everybody knows about him, but Marty Skrull seems to fly under the radar. And I think that uh, that's interesting that he's flying under the radar because, like, I mean, it could have been it could have been yikes for him. It really could have been trouble. And, uh, you know, he's really flew under this radar. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's kind of seeming to be working to his favor, you know. Uh, Stone Rosa says apparently there's some kind of harassment scandal at Impact. I had heard something mentioned about that as yeah, we well before, that. but I didn't see any details yet. So I'm gonna look into it for out of nowhere. But yeah, not 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 great for you know a lot of the people involved in the speaking out movement. Some had their name clear, you know, and others were brought to justice. But. 
We're gonna find out. Oh, Harry Steve. What up, Harry Steve? Because you donated. Fuck Karen, suck my dick. And fuck cancel culture shit. Fuck Karen, you dumb bitch. Harry Steve. Fuck Karen, suck my dick. And fuck cancel culture shit. Fuck Karen, you dumb bitch. Because Karen's our shit. Harry Steve tipped $6.90. NXT was great tonight AEW was not that good. KC Catanzaro did this insane twisting botch move off the top rope fucking impressive. Thatcher and Champa fight pit was fantastic fucking brutal wrestling match. I loved it. AEW was okay at best. Yeah, so Harry Steve, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people feel that way. If a lot of people feel NXT was pretty good tonight and then AEW was a step behind. I mean, because I could tell... This was probably one of the lowest rated AEW nights. I would probably give this somewhere around a 5.5 five or a 6. Cody Rhodes' music is still Snoop Dogg's, which, you know, that doesn't make me happy. Thank you, Harry Steve, for the donation. So that doesn't make me happy because I have something about the mixing of the music irritates me. I just want the Cody Rhodes' music. It's It makes a difference to me. It drives me nuts. So, you know, I don't know what they're going to do there, but... Man, it bothered me, Harry Steve. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for the uh, 690 coming in from Harry Steve. And we got another one coming in from... Did you just donate to Joe? Did you just donate to Joe? Thank you for the donation. Yes. And because you donated... Thank you. I'm going to feast myself in the bunghole. Ah! <laughs> 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 Stone Cold Sala tipped $9, hello y'all. My Ryroid near Jack's alert went off on my Roid X and I had to tell him to lay off the roids <laughs> because that can cause micro penis. Oh. Also air you was me but your show always makes up for that. Thank y'all for always uploading kickass content. I will always stick it in Stone Cold Sala. Roids because that can- I always- I don't know what's going on, man. There are different donos and pages. Stone Cold Sale, thank you for the $9, man. Much appreciated. Tons of Fightful love confirms an Impact Wrestling Management official is being investigated for alleged sexual harassment within the company. Oh, boy. Names have been withheld from the story currently. Don Callis. An internal investigation was reportedly <laughs> to be conducted over the past few weeks. Anthem Sports representatives gave the following blank statement. Basically, no. it just it says nothing. So we do it's, not comment on internal matters, basically. It's the full Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews, hire me. Impact Wrestling, hire me. Josh Matthews, be a pedo. Well, hire me. Of the, <laughs> Come on, Josh way. Matthews. Joe Cronin for commentary of Impact Wrestling. Josh Matthews, Pedo, come on, come just on! Just gotta get him canceled. You'll take over. That's it. I'll take over thirty days until they cancel me. Like, it'll be great. I'll take over <laughs> thirty right days. After. Crazy. Well, speaking of the proper way to treat women, AEW says coming soon is their World uh, Championship Eliminator Tournament for the women's number one contendership. That'll be for their women's title. So they're going to have a huge tournament to determine who will be the number one contender for the women's title. So that's pretty cool, and there's a lot of spaces available. So mm -hmm. we got 16 spots. Are you gonna I try don't out? even believe they have 16 women on their roster right now. Who's so the, wait a minute, AEW or Impact? AEW. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, they're they're bringing on a tournament to uh, form their number one contender. Why, so why I am don't all you about it. Why don't you compete? I I would love to. You just put a Cordy's, bra. You put a bra on. My balls in your purse, but dude, put a bra on. This I, is you. Like, you can do it. I am telling you, I believe here's the problem. in you. With all the weight loss, I'm down to a B cup, almost an A cup. It's just kind of skin now, so the bra's yeah. not going to work. I can use duct tape. Mine's more like sticking out. Did you just donate to Joe? Did you just <laughs> donate to Joe? Thank you for the donation. Thank you. <laughs> and because you donated, I'm going to feast myself. Thank you, Randy Viper. In the bunghole. <laughs> 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 Randy Viper tipped three dollars. Is Bullfrog eligible for the belt on three hundred? Can't believe I'm saying this, but Roman is the best guy in WWE right now. Have Ooh. him stay heel and hold the belt till Mania 38 or 39 and main event with The Rock. 
Rock can put him over. Randy Viper, you're absolutely correct, man. Roman is the best thing going. I mean, listen, who would have thought that? But that's what's going on. We all kind of thought he would do this if he if he went heel. We all said he'd be a great heel because we all buy him as a D bag. So exactly. It works. So for years now. Yes. So like, of course it worked. And yes, Bullfrog is eligible. If you guys don't watch, he is eligible for the belt, even though he didn't un- yeah. get unbanned on two ninety nine. Okay, I wasn't sure. <clears throat> He's eligible for the belt. He just can't be on the show. Wow. He's never going to be able to win it when it would not be on the show. But dude, so if he wins the belt, then he's got to be on the show as champion. Maybe, no? maybe, cha- maybe as champion. But I don't. That's never gonna. That is never. I don't think it ever happened. But I think if he was the happen. champion, he would. He would have to be on because he's the champion. If you guys and don't watch Friday night, Friday night is monetize this episode three hundred. We're talking about monetize this started in two thousand and thirteen or fourteen. I think uh, that's. Shit, eight years, nine years of monetize this. This is episode 300, Friday night, and the belt is back, and it's on the line, and you never know who is going to show up to monetize this 300 this week. On uh, By the way, it's on my other channel. So, But you know what? We've talked about it. We, actually, show. we might actually put it here on the main channel. We talked about that, but I think we're going to do it on Shame on News. So I think Shame on News is a good spot. It was a good spot last week, you yeah. know. So good so luck make, last week. Make sure you're sub to all my channels, Shame on News, Corrupted Nation, and here on Joe Cronin Show. Uh, because three hundred obviously it's gonna be a, a fun it's be a wild night. night. You're not gonna want to miss it. You're gonna get wet. And Matt the Misfit says, looks like AEW is going to rely on Joshi wrestlers again. And it seems that way because just like Joseph Ross said, uh, it looks like eight American and eight Japanese women because on their graphic they have the two flags one on each side of the brackets for the tournament so looks like eight japanese and eight american wrestlers in the women's tournament so that's how they're going to fill the rest of their roster for 16 women because they're going to have eight joshi wrestlers just like wwe with the women's tournaments bringing in people from everywhere i get it exactly so yo they would bring in more Mm -hmm. local talent than overseas. people really got mad at tko rising yesterday <laughs> tko rising what's up tko yeah people got really pissed at him the other day like, he said something <laughs> when weird. the show ended i was ending I the why. show i was actually going to end the show anyway but well, when i was said the thing that, you said it was going to be a short show so I, that's why yeah. i said the show was ending anyways but yeah i just threw I it out there like that. that it was him i was like yo i was like fine you think it sucks we're fucking done anyway <laughs> but uh, but I threw the blame off you on like him. Bullfrog, you think it's Bullfrog now? Well, he's been here all night. So you mean the whole show sucks then? All right, fine. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like so, I was like, "What is he saying?" But no, that was pretty funny. And uh, hey, well, I laughed. Ha ha. TKO rising. Sam Skyrider. Yeah, we got Brit and Thunder two weeks at the Air Championship, whatever beach show. Whoa. Sam Skyrider tip $23. Pretty solid show tonight. Loved the private party heel turn finally with Matt Hardy guiding them. Jade appearance was good to distract Cody and Kenny Omega. Don Call's segment was good. Overall, good show 8 out of 10. Thank you, I wouldn't man. go that high with the rating, but I do like that they finally went heel since Matt is a heel manager. It just makes sense at this point, and it fits with Matt, with them agreeing to go with Matt's crappy, you know, deal that he put with them with the thirty percent and the third party money and all that type of stuff. So he, he's being that you know carny manager as they called him, and he admitted to it. So I'm glad they're they're going ahead and being heel now. It'll work better, especially if they're going for the Impact titles. They should be heel. That's how it should work. Um, the amounts available, I just put in the chat for some of the people wondering. We'll have it all figured out Friday night. We'll have a bunch more back again. But right now it's 4, 4, 25, uh, 15, uh, 29, 31, 50, and 200 and over. Uh, I'll have them all figured out uh, later on, though, of course. Uh, thank you. Zach McNulty giving it a 6 out of 10. Shout out to the top dog. It's Soundwave92. And everybody, guys, if you love like tons of eye pay-per-views and seeing a lot of the AEW guys and WWE people and just everybody who's been involved in indie wrestling right now and who will be involved in indie wrestling coming up, whatever it is, 
if you guys are somebody who has been subscribing to wrestle um, title match wrestling network.com you guys can use my coupon code it's Cronin still and it's available right now so you get everything so it's normally 999 a month but you're gonna get the first month if you've never signed up for this before you get the first month for 999 but if you use coupon code Cronin I believe it's half off for your first month and you get access to everything every live eye pay-per-view that happens Every thousands, thousands that ever happened. Thousands of shows, Joe. And, and the thing is, they have not just a ton of you know indie promotions and whatnot, but things that you know people don't usually promote or hold on to or have access to. A lot of of women's wrestling content. A lot of stuff that is either rather obscure or things that you thought you know wouldn't you know be uh, available online. They have so much to offer. It's it's you know a wrestling fan's wet dream. That's if, for sure. If there was an independent wrestling WWE network, this is it. I mean, it's everything. That's a great way to explain it. Perfect. There's everything. Shoot interviews, uh, dude. They got Defy Bar Wrestling, Chaotic Wrestling here in the Northeast. Ladies Night Out. Chaotic has all Sasha Banks stuff and everything. Uh, you know, VCW. Um, there's a ton of stuff. Wrestle Pro, Wrestlecade, CZW. Uh, there's just Dude, look at this. This is I was crazy. just on their YouTube page yesterday because they posted Brandy Rhodes and Flip Gordon taking on Madison Rain and MJF. It was yep. funny, you know. And they got a they, partnership. They have so much stuff. They yeah, have over two hundred and thirteen promotions listed here, plus RF video. Use coupon code Cronin half off Title Match Wrestling Network. The site kicks ass. You know it. You've been on it before, maybe. And I'm doing more commentary on it, so there's going to be a bunch of commentary for me that's available on it for Syndicate and just Pro Wrestling Syndicate. And there's a bunch of other promotions. I'll tell you about it when they release. Um, that I'll be doing bomb. commentary for over there. You become a shit bomb. JCS foot rub. JCS air you for life. Crime. For life. Let's go, JCS foot rub. Yeah, a lot of those shoot interviews too, like the four ah. AJ ah. one. Shit bomb! <laughs> you become a shit bomb. Maybe late, but did you, you guys me. see Backyard Wolf Pack Sting? Uh, maybe <laughs> late, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Dwan I'm Joseph, just... thank you. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know, man. No comment. I <laughs> think <it's> good. <laughs> 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 fuck. <laughs> thank you. You're wet, baby. Wet crotch. I'm in a weird mood. Like it's <laughs> Sam Skyrider, man. Thank you for the $23. It's not a weird mood. It's a hot mood. Dude, now he you're all gave wet he, and bubbly. Gurgle, gurgle. Yeah. Did I? I played this donation right. He gave it an eight out of ten a minute ago. He did. What the Crazy hell? Enough. That's what I said. I I, I oh would not go God. that high, but I agree with the private party heel statement. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm going for a five tonight. Maybe a five point five even. Yeah. Because the I wrestling, do. I you know. Brody Jr.'s birthday starts to choke you up. I, I can't help it, you know, being a father especially, you know. It, it's great seeing the kid from the worst time of his life have hopefully the best time of his life as well. I, you know, it, it doesn't make up the loss of his father, but it does go ahead and at least have a little solace that there's people that care about him. And that's very nice that they're willing to put him over and, and do this for the family. He was only there for what? six or nine months altogether and they've done so much for him and his family so that that's fantastic and uh the, the match was pretty entertaining it was well wrestled and that ending i actually had to, to show danny because the, it, it was the the stunner super kick buckshot lariat german suplex Reynolds super pin ultimate combo on Serpentico. It was just an awesome <laughs> flow of moves. It was just bam, 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 buckshot, bam, 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 bam. Alex and Reynolds work great as a unit anyways. They're an amazing tag team. And <laughs> at the end, it was, it was funny. I agreed to you, Welsh, when you said, my birthday was three days ago, you stupid idiots. And had they been able to censor, it would have been good to make it look like he swore again. But uh, I, I like the stuff they do with him because it's not, constant but it's cute and it, it's wholesome and it's good for the dark order because their faces at this point uh 
you know, I, I, besides that, I, I wish we got something else or more from the women tonight. I, I really didn't care for the yeah. Penelope Ford uh, and the what Layla a, Hirsch match. Oh that my was a God. shit show. Not only was it slow and never went anywhere, but the commercial break made it even worse. Yeah, as soon as the, you know she gets this big kick, and then they're like, "Oh, commercial!" And then we come back, and we're and we're like, "Uh, okay, they're, you know, she's hitting the double knees," and I'm like, "All right, what's going on now?" And then suddenly they're on the outside of the ring again. I'm like, "Come on, what?" what? It, it, I know Sabian was supposed to like move her legs, but he he didn't even get there on time. So Penelope Ford was supposed to win, but it. it it just it all looked awful. It yeah. just it looked so sloppy. And then Miro on the mic, I hate I hate what they're having him do. I hate this creative direction. I hate Chuck being Charles the, the ring boy and the young boy, whatever they want to call it. I, it the <laughs> whole thing of it, it just it sucks to me. I don't like this angle. I hate how Miro is being presented. He looks like shit. He looks like this, a looks like a gangster from GTA, like or something. Like that. Yeah, with with a high fashion sense for you know shitty clothes. Yeah, I mean Ex- he really expensive douche couture. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's what it comes down he's to. So weird, like I don't understand that at all. Like it's very strange. Um, I don't get what's up with that. I don't either, and it doesn't suit him well. And no, he doesn't have to be a Russian soldier. I'm not yeah. saying that he might have to be. I mean, this is that's the only thing that's well, worth shaking. Might be the only thing he can portray well. Well, well who knows? You become but. a shit bone. He needs help for sure. <laughs> Woo, yo, JCS foot rub. Thank you for the two dollars, JCS foot rub. Uh, another positive from tonight was the Eddie uh, Kingston. Interview with yep. challenging with Jake talking back at him and them going back and forth and he's going to challenge cool. Archer next week. That was fantastic. Sign me up for that next week. And then yep. we also have an eight man tag: the Young Bucks and the Good Brothers. So we're going to see how that works out. Taking on the Dark Order. So who loses that? Your champions or your new top face team? I'm really curious what they go with there. I'm thinking the Good Brothers are going to screw over the Young Bucks and cost them the match, but we'll see. Um, I think that's the only way that. Yeah, works. that might be true. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but just was, not a lot of no wrestling tonight. That was really good. Not not because yeah, the main event was really rushed. Um. Besides that, the only thing that was stand out to me was the eight man tag in the beginning, and that's because I I really do enjoy uh Silver and Reynolds as a as a duo. Their tag team like duo moves together. I always pop for them. They they really go ahead and entertain me. So. I like what they do because it, it's not – it is a spot fest in a way, but it's it's not like senseless moves at times. Like they'll hit you know a German suplex and then he'll come over for the pin. Like I like that stuff where it's not just something to be like, you know, just pop the crowd. Like they're trying to win the match. So it makes sense when you, you see the, the combination moves. It's not just for flair. Right. Yeah, it's for, there's, for, there's a reason behind there's this. There's a reason for it, exactly. Um, I like but that. yeah, that that rapid fire, constant energy. I liked I liked the beginning, yeah. especially. Uh, besides, Whoa, oh that, my god, I got a voicemail. We did it, we did it, Joe. <laughs> You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me fix that. We did it, we did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next Impact Wrestling announcer because Josh Matthews did something naughty. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Kamala. I, That's huge. The vice president of the United States called me to tell me that I'm going to be working for Impact Wrestling. This is unbelievable. That's huge. What an opportunity. Oh, my God. Ignore Nightbot. Nightbot has the wrong link. I, I fixed the link, and I get the <laughs> Nightbot has the wrong link. I got to fix that. I thought <laughs> I did fix it, but anyway, there, I'm sorry. Sometimes it doesn't update. There what did is. you think of Cody Rhodes with the Snoop Dogg theme song song no, still? I can't, oh, that pisses no, me off. Please stop it. That's enough. We got it. It was fun. The collab was cool. I actually his tweet- Titan Tron is even the Go Big Show clip of him sitting in his judges, you know, seat. So, so <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. that's the good thing is that's they're promoting the Go Big Show. So that's that's okay. Hopefully, it will go away when that's over. You know, because I certainly I, hope. I, so. I I even I tweeted Cody. I said, case. Hey, listen, I love I love I actually like the theme a little bit, and you know. I obviously, you know, I love Snoop Dogg and I love you, but like I gotta tell you, man, like that original theme song you have is fire. Please go back to that. Like, please, my God, go back to that. So hopefully, he. I, I it, this one is terrible. It ruins the whole entrance. 
it ruins the feel because it doesn't have that epic nature to it anymore. It cuts mm-hmm. out and it's just it's blatantly weird. I I don't mind the gimmick change with Peter Avalon, but this match didn't work. The way they set it up to have Jade come out, they they immediately, you know, land the crossroads and that should have been it. And then Cody refusing to cover looked weird to begin with, wanting to show off and it okay, and then Jade's music hits, so it's all just a ploy to waste time, and then that's when he gets the low blow. She's a distraction. I didn't mind the low blow angle, but that match went on way too long past that. He should have destroyed Peter Avalon after that. I Even with a low that. blow and a kick to the leg, it, sh- it should have been over. Yeah, I guess that's what they were trying to say is like, oh, you know. He- and on top of it, Cody, you know, laying him out with the crossroads, that, that, should, have, that should have been it. It, you know, he should have been unconscious still on Dream Street. He shouldn't have gotten up to kick oh, Cody in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like Jade's music, though. She's got pretty good music because it's not Yeah, mixed. her music isn't bad. And now we know that, that Shaq will be there next week as oh. well. Yay. Yeah. Well, um, hey, but Mo- you Moxley's know what? match, I didn't care for. Did you like that? I actually missed it. I only heard his promo. I actually thought he came out and cut a promo only. Yeah, he had a he had a, a short like three minute match with oh, Nick Camarado. Oh my god, uh, I came out and th- looks like a caveman. It, it wasn't bad, but Jesus, they went and told us Nick's entire backstory, in the sense of like, oh, he went to here for high school. He went here to college. This is what he majored in. This is what. Uh, all right, we don't have to know about his personal life. Like, tell us about his character or his wrestling ability. Don't talk about, you know, his schooling and and his upbringing that that doesn't matter that doesn't make you learn more about him that doesn't make you care about this person then moxley beats him pretty easy handedly you know and and chokes him out and that's it he (laughs) went to sleep pretty quick and then after the match moxley cut a hell of a promo which he always does and that's you know you always expect moxley to do well on the mic and then he he drops the mic starts doing some push-ups i'm laughing then we had uh eddie kingston with his group in the back like I said, and, and that was really good with Jake, you know, bite me going off at them. And, and you know, it, he's like, I won't, when you won't have your monkeys to back them up, I don't we'll save it for next week. And I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought you know, that, that, I part that was promo nice. too. All promos were pretty good tonight. Like they were, we did it. We oh. did it, Joe. But that match You're was crap. You're going to be the next president of the United <laughs> States. <laughs> Co- Cody's match was disappointing. <laughs> yeah. And the six-man Matt Hardy, private party, Seidel, top flight thing was a mess. Matt yeah. Hardy almost died, as we said. The women's match was a mess as well. And then the main event was severely rushed. Even though they got 12 minutes, it, they, they had so much to put into it. It was too much and time the, for nothing. Like, yeah, exactly. Why they, did they the just, main they, event suffer like it did when the women's match was for nothing for 12 minutes? For nothing. They did nothing. Shit exactly. bomb. James Mesner. You become a shit bomb. Three's company theme presented by Joe Lovett. Oh, Smiley yeah. face. Oh, dude, listen. I, I'm a huge... Three's company is one of my favorite TV shows of all time, okay? Like, I mean, are you kidding me? Come on, nothing, Come on, I got a door. We've been waiting for Shit, you. Shit, Mom! You become... Thank you, shit thank you, James. <laughs> JC has that'd be my entrance music. Like if I was a wrestler. <laughs> JC has foot be. rub. Hey, throwing the three dollars in, man. What's up, JC has foot rub? Again, man. He's dropping them, baby. JC has foot rub. You're keeping my show in the air. I'll kiss you. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Become a patron. Everybody become a patron, though. Corrupted podcast this weekend, Saturday night. It's going to be a lot to talk about after 300 of monetized this. It's like a big post show for it almost. You're not going to want to miss that. And my interest music will be this. Everyone here's a whore. And you are a bore. I just like do that to people. <laughs> I just talk crap. The whole front row swallows jism too. I could beat up all of you. I could kick your ass. Like I just fucking sing it, people. Oh, it's a great show. But no, with Three's Company, man, that dude, I don't know what it is because the show's so old. I mean, the episodes were. When I watched the episodes when I was four or five, especially when I was five, six, and seven, but, you know, even younger. 
the episodes, you know, had already aired, so I was already watching reruns of the show. In so the it's 80s. something that you took with you in formative years. That's why it's important. Yeah, like I love that show. Like, dude, I love. Um, like, not, like for me, it was always like TGIF, that kind of stuff. Full House, yeah, that too, matters. but. That that too, step but that, by step, that that stuff stands out. That was later, but it did that that too was like a big deal. Fresh like that, Prince. the the original one. Like remember when they did the crossover with Urkel and Step yeah. by Step or whatever? Like he like landed in their backyard or something like that, or Family Matters yeah. and something. Perfect Strangers was I was I was huge <clears throat> into. Yeah, Perfect Strangers was a big one too early on. It was like Perfect Strangers, dude. I love Perfect Strangers, Wonder uh, Wonder Years. Yeah, but I was thinking of. Um, what was the one with the girl? She was a small wonder. I like small wonder. Small wonder. That little yeah, robot that bitch, is... dude. When I was a kid, I wanted to slam her. Um, <laughs> like, dude, I swear yeah, to God. she was, was your like, favorite. Yeah, I was I was like, dude, I was a creepy little her. kid, dude. I was like, yo, I want to make out with her. Like, I was obsessed with that. Like, I had, I had like, weird daydreams. I was the robot infatuated would... with the pink uh, ranger. I think all boys. Oh, have, I didn't watch Power know, Rangers, actually, but. Yeah, she I, was hot then, you know, for all young no she was hot she was like before britney spears she was like britney yes yeah she had that look and like the the robot girl when i was like six or seven vicky or whatever like so i i dreamed that like she lived with us and she came out of the closet one night and in a roboticness just got on me and made out with me and stuff and i was like yeah like and i'm thinking this like i think she was probably a little bit older than me uh in real life but I was like six or seven, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, I want that robot girl." I mean, I was like seven or eight thinking about this stuff. What the hell's that wrong? And you know, used to get me Kelly Bundy, of course. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Take. Her. I mean, how could you not? You know, that was swing totally. The cool, you the know, cruel. Don't ever, don't ever do that again. Uh, the <laughs> cruelest thing about her is like you thought about her breasts all the time, and she got breast cancer and had to cut them off. I mean, like, what the hell? No nipples. That's like Bobby the Brain uh, having that vo- vocal surgery. It's like or having throat cancer. It's like you kidding me? That's what God gave him that gift, and that's the thing that you're gonna fucking give cancer to. It couldn't have been anything else. His stomach, his anus, his f- anything. No, uh, we're gonna give it yeah. to the thing that he uses. Smoke weed every day. Will tactics. Will tactics tipped four dollars and twenty cents. Nice. Huge question. Okay. Since it returns to the old system of points to win the belt Friday, are you also going to do 100 points for the best rant on the rant line? I got something big for the rant line Friday. That's a great point. We have not done that mm. in a long time. I might actually do that. That's a great I idea. I think that's a good idea. I mean, it is such a hectic night. It Everything is a is like hectic night. It's subject to change. Yeah, but. I don't know if we can... Man, we could be here all day off if we do that. And so I, I would say Wait. you'll try. Yeah, maybe. Shit, um, maybe we'll try. Pussy Lips McGee tipped five dollars. NXT huh. was a seven tenths, and AEW was a four tenths. You guys need to watch NXT Fight Pit match. Champa and Thatcher put it. on a great match. They beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, did he? I mean expected it? them to kill each other. I can't wait to go and watch that after this. Did he say Fight Pit match? Yeah, they had their Fight Pit match. That sounds awesome. It's it's like a gigantic UFC cage match. It, they square off the ring and they put in a big cage, and then there's a top level as well. And it's it's really freaking cool. They had All one right. already when it was Thatcher against Matt Riddle, and Thatcher beat the hell out of Riddle. So now Thatcher's going up against Tommaso Ciampa. It's like it's like uh, Ken Shamrock's Lion's Den, <clears throat> but bigger, square. But it's really cool. <laughs> it's 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 like a total badass fight. It, and the good thing when they did it with Riddle, because it was MMA background, they really turned it into like a shoot fight feel, and it was executed perfectly. That's one wow. definitely go back and check out. So I can't wait to see tonight's because Champa's a badass. He's a sociopath. He always puts his body, you know, on the line. No problem. Yeah, that's going to be fucking awesome. I, you know, uh, after what happened, I'm excited for that. So let's go. I, I can't wait to go see it. Did you just donate the cancel culture shit? Whoa. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> and because you donated, I'm going to feast myself. <laughs> in the it's freaking out. <laughs> yeah, it is freaking out. <laughs> Ooh. Alistair Black tipped one dollar. God. Please. God. Mm. End me. Help. I'm locked at Pat Patterson's gay sex dungeon. Oh, no. Lots of unprotected anal sex. Oh, oh, no. I don't know how much I can take. Oh, God. Here comes almost or at Sud. What? Oh, my God. 
Alistair Black, uh, thanks for the dollar. Yeah, yes. Alistair, yes. Alistair, he has I don't know how much I can take. Line. Oh, God, here comes O-M-O-S-A-U-A-G-D-S-Y-U-A-D-Y-S-G-Y-D-U-A-G-Y-D-S-U-D. Oh, I see what he said now. I tried to figure it out. But yeah, I'm, I hope you're okay, Alistair Black. I mean, listen. You're not being used in WWE. You might as well be used in Pat's sex cave. You know, at least you're being at least you're being used somewhere. You know, that's the that's what's important. You're being used somewhere. Poor son of a bitch. Anything else, uh, Jake, that you had to say about this show tonight? I mean, uh, there was one. Oh yeah, I want to talk about backstage. Wardlow, MJF. You know, they're they're with the inner circle, and Jericho's not there. And you got Sammy getting up in MJF's face saying that, you know, MJF was like, this match shouldn't have happened, but Jericho is obviously the leader and Sammy's not happy and said, you know, a lot of things wouldn't have happened, you know, if, and MJF's like, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a sociopath. I'm coming from a good place. And he's like, I, I, th- I wish we could just get this over with and move forward. And then everybody bumped, you know, fists on the way out, but Sammy and MJF. So what do you think that's leading to? Is is it pretty much like we said before? It looks like Sammy's going to turn face on everybody or what do you think's going on here? Yeah. I mean, Sammy really feels like he is going to go face any minute. The announcers are constantly talking about, Oh, Eddie Guerrero. And he really is this great stallion. Like, I mean, he really does feel like he's going to get this cool bravado sort of HBK thing going on. Slash yeah. The Guerrero. Spanish God, they're going to go with, you know, him being the, the cool, sexy, yeah, that yeah, kind of thing. Like, Very flagrant. And, which he really could be this heel, but it's just I guess he, he works well as a heel, and he, he, you know, he's cut some pretty cool promos before. Uh, I like his vlog stuff. He's talented with that. It's just I don't know what they're going to do with him as a face. Hopefully, except they have he a good wants plan. to uh, rape, rape Sasha or whatever. Yeah, that was uh, not a great <laughs> look, but man, I that, certainly said worse. That was so bizarre. Yeah, I've said way worse, but I mean, that was just what a bizarre thing to come out. Um, but no, that and w- uh, we talked about the six man tag. Yeah, that was very awkward. It was just so many botches and and so many, uh, you know, moments. Like Mark Quinn goes for this kick at one, mo- one moment, and and poor Matt's just got to stand there, side out, not not Hardy. Mm. He's standing and just waiting and waiting and waiting, and then finally he gets kicked and moves. Like like you just know he's waiting for it. Like all those type of things, and then the botches on top of it, and then. Like we said, Matt almost getting hurt and, and Seidel leaping on Hardy and getting caught and landing on him and, and just all these awful moments. It just it was a bad match to me. Speaking it, it of uh, the mark. speaking of missing the mark, listen to this. So it's like the funniest thing that I have the wood. I have the wrong parts. So it's like the funniest thing. <laughs> I, have the, I have the wrong parts. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I said the other day, but I said something else that was like weird or suggestive just the other day and if anybody captioned that it was worse than this but if you took that whatever i said a couple days ago or yesterday then i don't remember if anybody remembers what it was but i said something that was like oh my god clip that because that's yikes like that's going to be hilarious and i didn't clip it so i don't know but if you did have that clipped and you mixed it with this like it would be extra crazy i have the wrong parts so (laughs) (laughs) i have the wrong parts shit bomb oh my god you become a oh, shit bomb. JCS Foot Rub, thank you for the dollar, man. Thank you, I'll sir. I'll some news really quick uh, in, in the interim before we get to out of nowhere tomorrow. <laughs> Adam Pierce sent out a tweet earlier that said, uh, it's actually pretty simple. To those that have been granted the ability to simply declare entry into the Royal Rumble by management are free to do so. Yes. Those that haven't must qualify. I don't write the rules. I enforce them. So at least they offered an explanation. But you... And apparently... Creative made him send this tweet out. So, and all we ever wanted you to do was state the ru- state the re- state that. So, thank you, yeah. thank so God, I'm we glad finally did that. Finally, and uh, you talked about WrestleMania earlier on the Joe Cronin show. You know, having fans in attendance for both nights looks like it's going to be fifteen thousand fans possibly. And WWE is considering going on tour after WrestleMania thirty seven. The real internal discussions are what to do after, and they feel like trying a soft reopening of touring schedules for live TVs and just doing, uh, you know, small areas post Thunderdome with, lo- you know, I- instead of having all these headaches about doing things constantly, just, you know, do small venues and keep it local. But they, they want to do like a soft relaunch. So that's interesting that they're going to try and get back on the on the road. Beth Phoenix was actually there live tonight for NXT commentary, so it seems like certain travel restrictions are 
no longer in place or she's able to, you know, make it over. Can't wait to tonight also check out The Undertaker on Joe Rogan's podcast. That's got to be awesome to I'm an hour, to. I'll, only an hour into it. Apparently, he opens up about the history of steroids in WWE. Uh, he talks about, you know, the direct quote here is that there was a time when you had to get jacked, especially with the big guys. There was a stigma. You had to be 300 pounds. It's in our head. Nobody gives a shit. They're interested in the characters we are on TV. But in our head, it was like, fuck, I got to be 350 pounds. So he says a lot about, you know, that was the wrestler's mindset. Now we're tested for everything, which I don't understand because there are some big motherfuckers out there and they're cut and I don't know how they did it. Like I couldn't get that way when I was on steroids. So he admits to being on steroids in this as well. Right. Yeah. And then he named Braun Strowman as a man who is huge and ripped and obviously not on steroids because WWE tests them. So let me see this. Uh, 11 after just tweeted me this. Let me see. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you become wow this is messed up 11 thank you for this tweet he just dm me this uh, clip from earlier <laughs> AJ you become what the hell is wrong with me, man? What am I gonna do with you? Um, what was I doing? I was, <laughs> I was, I was actually doing something, <laughs> and now I <laughs> you can't were going remember. Through a tweet, I believe. Um, oh, raw. They drew. No, there was something uh, else. A I was one point eight five four. That's what I was gonna tell you. Wait, raw did what? In a one point eight five four. So Jesus. that's a bit of an increase from last week's. Uh, you know, at one point eight one, they that actually mean, went up. I'm that's shocked. Surprising, I don't know yeah. how. But I mean that's not good. That's bad, but it's like it's better. I did not expect it's better it. than a one point six and one point seven. So yeah, I th I'm shocked that that didn't go down. Was was I, there? I didn't think because it was such a shit show. Oh, I mean, was it was this a the bad first week? Show. Wait, was this the first week of no Monday Night Football? Yes, that's so it. That's, that's that's what helped them not be. having. Imagine if they put on a great show and didn't have the opposition this week. Oh, they could have you know really gone ahead and and done well. We're also going to talk tomorrow night about, you know, who's most likely to win the Royal Rumble. Is it Big E? Is it Daniel Bryan who's being discussed now? Or could it be somebody nobody wants? We'll see. We'll talk about that tomorrow night. Uh, we'll also talk about the tournament that NXT is having for the Women's Dusty Roads Tag Team Classic. Uh, people talking uh, further ideas, I guess, creative is pitching for the storyline for Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Because now they kind of did a little soft retcon on Monday saying that the, the reason... Bray burned Randy or Alexa burned Randy because of the fiend was so that Randy would not win the Royal Rumble. So this way they could take him out of the Royal Rumble Ooh. because people you know expected him to win it. I don't know what they're they're going to do here, but the whole thing is is a, a total complete mess, honestly. The only thing that I was thinking that would be somewhat decent, but they're in a shit place. If they have Randy Orton and, the, and the, you know, the Fiend comes back at the Royal Rumble, they have Randy Orton, they have the Fiend, they take each other on, the Fiend wins, he vanquishes Randy Orton, and then later in the night, the main event happens after the Royal Rumble. We have Goldberg and Drew close the show, and we do that for a reason, because we could do some cool little pre-tape stuff, and we have the Fiend interrupt the championship match to go ahead and fuck up Goldberg. Since Goldberg took away his title, he never got revenge. He ruins Goldberg's title opportunity, and then they can have a match at Fastlane, and The Fiend can get his win back. Hmm. Do that. Go with yeah. that. Book that. There you go. Yeah, then you still get, you know, then you can still have Goldberg do something else on the SmackDown side for WrestleMania, and it'll still be somewhat of a hot attraction because he didn't lose the title match himself. And the Fiend will use nefarious powers to beat him at fast lane. And the Fiend gets his win back. Yeah, that's not bad. The Fiend can't and, lose again. I mean, no. And, and Goldberg would be happy because he gets a cinematic match out of it. Everybody wins. He gets to not look like total shit. He loses through some special super voodoo. And the Fiend gets to not look awful again. He gets a revenge. So perfect. Do it. Book it. Book it up, baby. Book it up, and let me but book this. We got a up. lot more to talk about. Things with Tony Khan, plans with Roman Reigns. He got a Star Trek captain's year. log in his hands at Impact. Shit, yeah, mom. 
you become Yo, James Mesner. a shit bomb. What up, James? You know that Sammy Guevara was friends with the whole effing show guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's why he was on the show. Earlier with his rape comment. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Which tells me that he must have been watching JCS, too, because he's a sexy beast, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, Sammy uh, was uh, around in all the communities. I've been watching his vlogs for years now. I mean, years. Yeah, he knows the deal, man. He just probably shouldn't have said that. (laughs) Yeah, I I talked to him. I don't even think he remembers. Ages ago. You become one of his comments. A shit bomb. COVID-316, the official shirt, order now, DM me, Joe, play my video post of it. You gotta check it out, COVID-316. I still don't know what video post, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't know how Instagram works. Like, I don't see a video post of it. I see posts, I see the Botch Club post, though. But I don't see, uh, well, this is a new one somewhere. But uh, check out Botch Club on Instagram, go check this out, man, they are rocking it. Botch Club, 27,000 followers. The new COVID-316 t-shirt. What? You got to get this, man. You guys got to wear this fucking shirt. Dude, are you serious? Every wrestling fan will will love this. Plus, if they're in the, everybody knows about COVID, so they're going to mark out. So, like, check it out. It's the only good thing that comes from COVID is that t-shirt and all the stuff. That you can see on Botch Club that's just absolutely friggin' fire because Stone Cold said so. Get it now or I'll beat Deborah again. <laughs> that's right. He was a woman beater. Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. Here it is. That's right. The Stone Cold Steve Austin COVID t shirt. Ain't nothing to fuck with. Sorry. Uh, go check it out, though. It's really a badass. And you are going to wear it, and you're going to love it, and you're going to get COVID on somebody. It's going to be amazing. Shit bomb! Oh. You become a shit bomb. Jake, if you vote for me to win the monetize this belt, he'll make a batch of cookies for you with a special ingredient. Whoa. Casey is raw. You You might have to... Maybe if you... I don't know. Vote we gotta talk Jake. then, Casey. Maybe you, Jake, you vote for him, and he votes for you. And mm. Jake, J- we're gonna sodomize Jake on monetize this three hundred. You know about this? I can't vote for myself, so that would work if I have him voting for me. I know, but I don't know, Casey. We're gonna have to talk. Bomb. We're gonna sodomize you, Jake. You become a shit bomb. on episode three hundred. We're sodomizing I don't Jake. My previous donation. I don't my previous donation. AJ Adams, what's <laughs> up? Here? I don't know what that means but thank you aj i'm Say not chat, sure what that means out. yeah i don't know tell us what that means i would love and to know as far as the sodomizing goes yeah yeah i know it's it's, it's monetized this 300 what, what, what do you what did i think was going to happen you said something about a gun in my butt and i was like yeah i, yeah. I got it we're putting guns in your ass we're, we're gonna do all you kinds said, of things to you did we want you to pull the trigger and I, I, I know we got it did you just donate the job thank you for the donation thank you and because you donated i'm going to feast Myself. Go ahead and can't stretch what's already ruined. (laughs) It's AJ Adams. Here's his other one. I found it. AJ AJ Adams tipped three dollars and thirty three cents. Welcome to the era of Biden kids sniffing, drinking the tears of kids. I wonder if Biden and Kamala are dining on a plate of chopped up Mexican infants. Oh my (laughs) God! We did it. We did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. Oh my God. (laughs) It was a nice inauguration today. I will say that, though. It was very nice. We'll see what happens. Well, me and Jake will talk a lot about the inauguration stuff. We'll talk a lot about Mortal Kombat. Did the you just donate yeah, to Joel? be nice to get all this Did done. you just donate to Joel? Thank you for the donation. Thank you. And because you donated, I'm going to feast myself well, no in the bunghole. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Colonel Santos tipped three dollars. I would stick my boot toe up Kamala's Harris Indian asshole oh. and can't shoot down it hard until my cum mixes with her curry shit. I want her to yell out, "We did it! We did it, Colonel Santos! You just wow. came on my pet. Oh. I will murder her <laughs> with my boot toe." <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Colonel Santos! Tiene sus papeles. What? Ah, oh, Dios bomb. mío! You become... Oh, my God, bro. 
Hey, you was a great show and you, Joe and Jake, well, are the greatest. Tip for dollars oh and twenty cents. I'm winning the rant line and the monetize this title this Friday, baby. Ah, I'm getting whoa, overloaded. We always get whoa. it done. We're getting whoa, 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 whoa. Too many at once. Will Tactics, thank you, man. Will Tactics uh, is going to win the thank rant line. Me, Will Tactics, and then thank you to E Murder ninety nine. What did E Murder say? I missed his. E Murder I... said AEW is great, and you and Joe. Are the greatest. Oh, we love you, E-Murder. We'll fist you, E-Murder. We'll fist you. Your privates. We'll do everything to you that needs to be done sexually I to don't, you. I don't fist. I lick. Really? And nibble, but but mostly lick. Nibbling's weird, and I, like, I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of intrigued by nibbling now. Will Tactics, thank you as well, no, my friend. Really Did you just bite. donate to Joe? J.D. Venom. Did you just donate to Joe? Thank you for the donation. <laughs> and fix all of it. And because you donated... It's I'm rapid fire. Fist myself. Fist it up. In the bunghole. JD <laughs> Venom. Uh, uh, uh. JD Venom tipped $3. NXT was good tonight. I skipped Hair You this week. In other news, are we going to get another Mortal Kombat inauguration YouTube video? I don't think we are going to get anything better than the Mortal Kombat inauguration video when Trump <laughs> was sworn in fucking funny. <laughs> JD Venom, that's a good point, man. I don't think we'll get any better than that. I, I don't think it will, but but we will review. <laughs> we will talk about our hopes for Mortal Kombat, and we will redo our hopes for Matrix. We never that got deleted. Yeah, by we, me. we didn't get to. We did it, and I deleted yeah. it. Yeah. But, so. did you just oh, that's don't... right. That was the file we lost. Yes. So I will. That will happen. Here it comes, Mikey K9. Ruff, 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 ruff. Yeah. Mikey K9, what up? Here he is. Fuck Karen Zug, my dick. And fuck cancel culture shit. Fuck Karen, you dumb bitch. Cause Karen's our shit. Mickey. Mickey K9 tipped $25. I would like to thank you, Joe and Jake, for a great show tonight. Quick Royal Rumble question. Does the women's yeah. division have enough wrestlers for the event if NXT is not participating? I know, that's what I was concerned with as well, and I think that if they pull in a few legends, yes, they'll be able to pull it off. I think between both shows that they have just enough, and that's why you've seen so many of the women declare for the Rumble, we're going to obviously see the women's tag team champions, it seems like, as well. And because, what is there, what do you think, what is there, 16, to, about 18 to 16 main roster women, right? Yeah, and, and maybe they will resort to NXT for the women, but they originally said no NXT involved, so... Yeah, I I really think Jake, you're right. Is that they'll just go to the well for legends and anybody who used to be there, like Alicia Fox. You think? I mean, we could get a lot. We could actually get a lot of really good women in this Rumble because on on the female side of Raw, we have Alexa, Oscar, Becky's not there right now. We have Charlotte, Dana, Lacey, Lana, Mandy Rose, Mickey James is back. Naomi, Nia Jax, Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce. Uh, we have Reckoning, who's Mia Yim, and we have Shayna Baszler. And then on SmackDown, we've got Bailey, Bianca Belair, Billy Kay, Carmella, Chelsea Green is out with injury, so she's out. Liv Morgan, Natalia, Ruby Riot, Sasha Banks, Sony Deville, and Tamina. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 25 women right there. Boom. Because we got to take out two. So, so wow, that's already right there. I mean, so, that's... 24, 25, because you got two champions. So, 25, so 24, 23. So, you got 23. So, you need seven legends. That's easy. That's easy. That's, that's easy. All right. So, one Im immediately is who? Undertaker's uh, wife. Undertaker's wife. Yep. So, um, also, Michelle McCool will be there. Michelle McCool. Maurice, Maurice will probably be there. Maurice, that's two if she does. And even if she doesn't. Um, Beth uh, Phoenix, I can see doing it. Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox, absolutely. Trish Stratus, uh, maybe. Trish Stratus and Lita, maybe, again. Maybe one of them. Ronda Rousey um, would be awesome. That would be friggin' huge. If Rousey came back, yeah. I'd, well, I'd love for her to win the Rumble. Just doesn't seem like she's ever coming back. Molly but. Holly will probably. They could like to call her recently a lot. Yeah. Jennifer, you made a list? Awesome. I'll have to check that out, too. Oh, my God. You made a Oh, okay. I thought, I'm not I just, I, I'm fucking Catholic. I thought. Oh, um, oh Jesus. I, for a second, I was worried, and then I remembered. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about Jewish that. Either. 
Why am I worrying about that? I don't know. Shit bomb. NXT has so many female you wrestlers. Become so. a shit bomb. What up, JCS Foot Rub? Thank you for the dollar ninety nine JCS Foot Rub. Mwah. Thank you, Senor Foot Rub. And yeah, we might get Rhea Ripley to debut. We might get uh you know we'll see there might be somebody else they might push up as well but that could be a great spot for Rhea Ripley to come up and win you know that that would be great they want her up on the main roster they gave her a proper send off uh losing the last women's standing match that they had with Gonzalez so go for it why not have her come at the rumble that's a good spot but NXT has a ton of women if they really need it as far as the men's side of things they're they're set in spades so they don't have to worry about that yeah um i tried leah just sent me a meme of bernie sanders with the money in the bank and i'm like i've seen this one all day long but i go sitting down from the inauguration today yeah but i'm trying to i was trying to tell her i'm like this has been a meme with him for like eight years yeah and she's like what are you talking about this is from today and i'm like i know i get it i'm just saying like it's been a meme for like eight years you've been saying for him to cash in forever now. he doesn't have the balls to cash in I, i wish he i wish he did but he doesn't have the balls to cash in Oh, and and I do have to put his money in the bank and then go home with it is what he would do. Yeah, he would cash in and just take the money. Cash out and cash out is what he'd do. Oh, cash in and then cash out. It's a burning view. I'm going to take my car and drive away. Sammy Hagar going ahead and commenting on the Sammy Hagar uh, match name before the match. That was funny as well. I give him credit for getting that cameo. So. Yeah, it's uh, and yes. Rhea eliminating Charlotte at the Rumble is perfect, Jennifer. I agree because Charlotte, you know, defeated Rhea at Mania last year. So Rhea debuts and then beats Charlotte. What a story and moment that is! That's a huge entrance for Rhea Ripley. That's a real star making moment. Uh, but Biggie does have a point. Do they give you know people that come in too much too quick? I mean, if you if you look at it, Keith Lee already had what two WWE Championship matches, and he's only been up since late August or early September. And they give these people a lot quick, and the audience doesn't have time to connect with them, and that's why it often fails. And then what, because they don't have enough baby faces, when they have these certain weird roles, they make their baby faces turn into cowering, blumbering fools and idiots, Lord. and no one wants to watch them anymore. You know, when Seth Rollins was crying from the fiend in the corner of the you know ring, trying to not get pulled into the the underneath of the ring, and acting afraid for his life, the fans turned against him. I mean, all his comments yeah. and everything leading up to it, but that didn't help. Now they're doing the same mistake again with Asuka, acting all scared of a rocking horse that's not even legitimately moving on its own because you can see the production assistant's hand. You know, shit like that. Like They, they really have to be careful with it because they're ruining Asuka too. So. Dude, what we saw with Matt Riddle's foot the other night was one of the worst things like I've seen in a while. That, that was, was really bad. Oh, I guess there was a lot of heat backstage for that. Whoever the cameraman was, was got reamed yeah, out uh, hardcore. I'm now I can't verify fired. this. That's alleged, of course. Take it with a grain of salt, but I believe it. Especially after Vince and everybody were so upset that um, uh, Adam Pierce's uh, promo got cut off on SmackDown with a bad mic. His mic was cutting out, and it wasn't intentional. People thought it was like an intentional thing, but no, it was a production issue. Yeah, and I guess Vince was fucking furious backstage. So. I believe it. So I could believe him being furious at this too for the foot stomp. Oh yeah, that made him look ridiculous. That was embarrassing. Yeah, that, that was bad. That made everybody look bad. I mean, that was real bad. I mean, the cameraman. It's like he forgot or something, and then instinctively he was like, "Oh, let me look at what they're looking at." Oh yeah, like it's just a mistake, you know. Apparently, but, they're trying to turn around and say, "Well, he was out of spot, not a frame," but it didn't look that way when you watch it back. Riddle was always standing in the same spot. The cameraman just moved too far down. Clearly his fault. Yeah, he started to go with the zoom in like he was supposed to, and then yeah. he went back to looking and down. Then he went back to the foot. He was like, it was like, you know, oh, I'm supposed to not see this, and then he followed the movement. Like he, he just went with he, instinct. He could have been zoomed in on Matt Riddle's face. It, you would have understood what happened by the noise. That's all we yeah. needed. And his reaction is enough to sell you on it. You don't need to see, you know, you don't need to see the gun fire to hear the gunshot and know that a gun went off. Here's the question: he Is stopping him holding his foot? It's not that you know difficult to put two and two together. Should Chris Jericho hang it up? That's a question we got from Timmy Timmy T in the uh, email t- or on uh, Patreon. I'm sorry, Timmy T, the five dollar patron. Guys, if you really want to help the show out uh, tonight, become a patron tonight, and I'll be shouting you out throughout the week and tomorrow. We have 305 patrons. 
30 hours of bonus content on Patreon. We got a bunch of stuff coming up this week on Patreon. Become a patron like Timmy did. And Timmy says this. He goes, yo, I think Jericho, it's time for him to be done. Uh, so what do you guys think in the chat? Should Jericho retire or should Jericho move into a more of a sting role? Not wrestling every week on the show, but wrestling only on special pay-per-views. What do you think? Leave it in the chat if you can. I'm going to put a poll out on Twitter later on, and then we will reconvene tomorrow night for out of nowhere, and we'll go over the poll results of that. I'll put that up later. But in the chat right now, what do you think? Is Jericho fine? Does he just need to lose some weight? Does he just need to maybe stop drinking as much, or or is he just yeah. stop it? Like he, by the way, he almost got hurt tonight. There's but. a lot of options there. I mean, do fans not want to see him anymore? Because like when when oh. you saw the reaction from NBA Twitter, it was pretty polarizing. I mean, yeah, that was shocking. I watch him all day. I don't give a damn. So I'm, I, I'm, I love Jericho. I don't want him to go away. But no, maybe if he would did a little bit less and kind of had a chance to tone himself up more. Yeah, you know, he does work out a lot, too. There's That's the thing. Like, when people start going like, oh, Jericho's a lazy, fat mess, that's like, oh, man, you're so wrong. That's the thing about it when people say that. Like, if I was Jericho, I would snap on Twitter because it's like, yeah, I'm sorry, the, the, the Nightbot one isn't working, uh, Daryl. I'm sorry. Yeah, my old one isn't working. The Nightbot one isn't working. It is working if you just use the other one, though. So, yeah, I'll fix that, though. I don't know why it's not working. I fixed it on the – my screen says it's fixed, but – it doesn't work on the uh, thing, you know. I I don't know what what that's about, but uh, you know, just and, but no, but uh, you know, I could see Jericho being like, dude, what the f? Like yeah. I'm working out all the time, but I think what he doesn't, I think what it is, is it's the drinking. He, he the I, drinking. I can see, I can see him saying like, I'm in the gym and I'm living there and I'm busting my ass and it's just yeah, it's gotta be the drinking. Like I like you said, if it's not, then it, I, I know it's harder as you get older. I. I'm 33 and feel like I'm 90 some days. I get it entirely. Yeah, so. dude, listen, he's awesome. He just needs to stop drinking as much because he is working out a bunch. Dude, if he didn't work out, he would look a wreck. Like, he'd be a big tub. If, oh, if he, he would, He would. yeah, he'd be my size, Jericho. But he. But he's got the <laughs> he abs and everything. Equals. He's got the abs and everything, but the, the, the just the, the sickness of the alcoholism is yeah, It's like a pudgy boring. ab look. It's weird. I know that That's because. It's not unsightly. It's just not flattering. Yeah. And one of the things that I really want to talk to you tomorrow about, I mean, it's not a, a huge story, but I just thought it was rather intriguing and innovative, is uh, the White House put up a message within the HTML code saying, if you're reading this, we need your help building, you know, back a better, you know, tomorrow kind of idea. And it was uh, uh, basically a job interview and, and tryout for coders. They're looking for coders. And the, the invitation was hidden on the website for whitehouse.gov. So anybody that looked into the coding of the website saw that they were looking for tech specialists to join the digital service for typically one or two years. So they're, they're recruiting people to join the U.S. digital service. It's a technology unit within the White House. That is funny. Except How for cool once, that, w- once one person finds out about it. Well, it was only up for a very brief time, and, and that was kind of the thing. And once it's out of the bag, it's done for, you know, like you said. But it was just Shit there bomb. until people realized it. So. You become a shit bomb. Started today with Biden's White House, though. Huh, that's interesting. What was that shit bomb? JCS foot rub. Thank you. That that is interesting. Huh. And there's a lot of a uh, lot of lot of lot of ways that, that can go. That that's worth talking about. So that's one of the things I'm looking forward to picking your brain about tomorrow. Yeah that 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 will be uh that'll be a lot. There's a lot to talk about. I mean, there's, there's a, a lot, lot that of, we're gonna be talking know, about. A lot, of, a lot of movie entertainment news, non-wrestling stuff that we'll cover on our Jake and Joe podcast tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, Jericho definitely needs a medical marijuana card. I agree entirely. <laughs> oh, man. He just um, got to fight the munchies and he'll be all right. I miss, I, miss getting, I miss smoking weed and getting the munchies, man. I, I miss getting the I munchies. I think you'll be fine with smoking. I just think you just should stay away from the edibles. Maybe. Yeah, you're right, because I did smoke that whole thing outside the other day. And something to do with caffeine, too. It's got something to do with caffeine. Yeah, I think caffeine... Getting loaded on caffeine. Don't do it. PTSD. I think it's... You you might just be sensitive to to that kind of stuff. Yeah. It is It is hilarious. I mean, legit today, I, I, I have such a tolerance to, you know, between, you know, all the painkillers have been on throughout history and whatnot they couldn't knock me out at the dentist for nothing so they just gassed me up and <laughs> ripped it out it worked but they they tried and couldn't knock me out so 
It's always funny. I would take a. Uh, I would take a. QAnon is now a pro Biden group, and they're claiming Trump is still secretly running things. <laughs> That's literally just news that was tweeted out. That's. Oh, I love this country. I'm telling you. Come on. <laughs> Oh I imagine God. Jericho on weed would be hilarious. Absolutely. Somebody said just postpone uh, 300 and make a 299.5 like you did last time with 200. Good God, why? I, I think I did that because something went wrong or whatever. Something something bad happened with like internet or I, I, there was a specific reason and then people couldn't come or maybe it was a snow thing. I, I know there was a, like a, a bad reason holding everything up, so... Yeah, Juan, the Undertaker on Rogan is great. I can't wait to hear it. Joe said he's an hour in. I cannot wait to to listen to this. I guess they go into a lot of, you know, deep territories, murky waters. So I can't wait to hear it. So I have an awake child. I have a child. Not a worry. Awake child. And uh, apparently, Jessamyn Duke is, is missing from the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. You know, and it was surprising because PAM, Shayna Baszler were given the titles of co-commissioners on Up, Up, Down, Down, and they were talking about it. And apparently she said Duke was a full-time game streamer when she was hired by WWE and effectively creates digital content full-time for WWE now and was said to have preferred that role over wrestling in the current climate. So she's doing digital content rather than wrestling. Well, And that's why she's, you know, not tagging with you know, Marina Shafir at this point in time. So Jessamyn Duke has no plans to come back to television in any capacity. What the heck? Surprising though. That's so weird. I like, I mean, whatever, but it's still not one of my favorites or anything, certainly, but she genuinely was a good talent. So I liked them together. Marina Shafir and Jessamyn Duke were good. Yeah. Yeah. They were good. Interesting. Well, I wonder, I wonder. Listen, that's some crazy what? stuff. It, well, it makes sense. She she probably wanted to keep streaming and do stuff like that because she said she probably making it. more she money her whole time. Probably she, so she had to make more money. I mean, otherwise, or like the freedom. I mean, if you're making as much money, well, or she's more streaming money. for WWE, not herself at this point. But maybe she just liked oh. the idea of that over. And, and she's probably well, making more money than she was wrestling. A lot of so. these people aren't wrestlers or didn't even want to be wrestlers. They just want to be stars. Yeah, they were MMA fighters, and they want to be stars. Yeah, you said it best. You've I mean, we, we barely ever see her do anything either. So maybe she's not very good because we don't see her do anything. So yeah. if this role's working for her, she's like, oh, I like this. If she's happy, then good. Is she the end, like? Happy? Is she the one that looks like super anorexic? Yeah, she was the skinnier of the two. Super skinny. Yes, very skinny. Super I mean, they're skinny. both pretty skinny, but she was skinnier. Yeah. And then uh, AEW did announce their main event for the... Uh, beach Break special February 3rd, and it's going to be Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers, the Impact Tag Team Champions and the AEW World Champion. They're going to take on the team of John Moxley, Pac, and Phoenix. So Ray Phoenix teaming up with Pac, the Bastard, and John Moxley. Sounds excellent. Looks very, 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 very good. That'll be a hell of a main event six-man tag match. And that yeah, is also cool. the show that we have Britt Baker taking on Thunder Rosa. So sounds good to me the only downside is the wedding of kip sabian and penelope ford is set that night as well so not looking forward to that but we'll see uh what the matches themselves bring i think we're just about done man i mean um i got an we'll a, I got for an, out of nowhere tomorrow there's an aj adams dono that i'm gonna hold for until brenna leaves but <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh see he said joe get her out of here now oh you, no <laughs> the, i keep, what i know what i'm doing man i'm gonna fix the tape working on the table that i'm working on tonight i'm gonna fix my donations in the computer and you would. i'm gonna i'm gonna be listening to the rest of that joe rogan undertaker podcast does anybody heard the whole thing because i heard the first hour and unfortunately the only said thing, he loved it so the only thing i didn't the only thing that was like, ah, oh, man, is I've already heard a lot of what I heard the first hour. I've already heard all those stories. So the only thing you were, I was really seeing was, you know, Rogan reacting to it was the only interesting thing. Yeah, which is cool. But that was my worry, too, because we've heard so much of his stories. Yeah. I, I'll give the show a five out of five, 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 five out of ten tonight. I, uh, AEW, a five, five. I just, no wrestling really that was good. Um, three segments or so 
uh, you know, three or four promo and segments that were pretty good though. And that was really it. It was um, very interesting. It was yeah. a couple really good things, and then a lot the of the rest was just blase. And and Daryl's right. Yeah, two years ago they were the standouts of their recruitment class. You know, mm-hmm. her and Shafir were were the standouts. But it's funny the way that changed over time. Yeah, but it says. Hey, what are you gonna do? It says Turkey Club, honey. <laughs> Turkey Club. Why is that like upside down F? Where? That's a K. Yeah. No, there. T U R K E. Oh, the E's cut off by my microphone. Uh. See? Uh. Video can't see it. Are you ready to go to bed now? Taker admitted to steroid use there. That was a big thing that I heard about. Yeah, that was huge. That was crazy. Yeah, that's what we were discussing before. Shit but bomb! James Mesner's coming in. You become. What up, James a Mesner? Shit bomb. James. <laughs> Sing me a show tune, Daddy. Sing me a show tune, Daddy. <laughs> well, Lil Wayne and Kodak Black are singing again because they've been pardoned. By Lil Trump. Wayne and Kodak Black are out of prison. When I heard Kodak Black's name announced, I just couldn't stop laughing for <laughs> obvious reasons that I can't bring up at this time. Weapons charges, all kinds of crazy. Things. Yeah, all those weapons. Congrats charges. To, to Kodak and Lil Wayne, baby. They're out. But, but what about Snowden? Um, what's Snowden. his name? The, the Tiger King, he didn't get a uh, Tiger pardon. King, no luck. Yeah, they had the big limo for nothing. Wow. I'm surprised Trump didn't do it. Well, I don't think he even knew or cared. That was just, I think, I what I found out was, I guess... The, well, Trump the, apparently told them, yeah, 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 like he yes them. Oh, really? I, I heard they were just like, yeah, he's going to do it. If we just act like he's going to do it, he'll do it. There was a lot of mixed stories. Originally, they said they spoke to Trump, then they said they spoke to someone in his campaign, and his campaign was handling it, and then he was told that he was considering it, and uh, <laughs> it was it was a total mess. Imagine but. if he got out and he went like, and then tigers ate him alive. Like, uh, it, <laughs> if they had tigers in the limo waiting for him. No, just like yeah, that'd be funny too. <laughs> but somebody gets in the limo, he just gets eaten them all. Like, he opens up a park, and and you know, because he's got all the fame and stuff, where he signs autographs, and you can come in the park, and because of COVID, you know, they're gonna let a few people in at a time, but he charges up. Whatever. And, like, dude, if he just, like, even from a year from now, and he gets eaten by tigers. There we go. That'd be great. That's really funny. Like, Tiger King died. He got let out of prison, and then tigers ate him. Like, that's hilarious. Like, please. Can you say, (laughs) buy me a mask, Brenna? Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. mask. Do you have 150 bucks? Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. If we had 150 (laughs) bucks, then we would be rich. If we had 150 bucks, we'd be rich. We got 40 from Soundwave up there. Look at it. It's over here. You can see it right there. Oh. He's top dog. Can you say, um, can you say, top dog? Come on! She's like, Dad. <laughs> say top dog. Top dog. Say it now, ready? Top, top dog. dog. Top dog. Let's see. Top dog. There we go. <laughs> Top dog, yeah, yeah. Daddy, what's up? I'm tired, but I really want to sleep with mommy. You want to sleep with mommy? But she doesn't go to sleep. So does daddy. I I want to sleep with her too. You want me to carry Daddy's you up? Tired. You want me to carry? No. Say good night to everybody. Look, we're going to bed. Say goodbye, everybody. We're going to night night. Here, I'll carry good you night. up. I'll carry you up and tuck you in. Why did somebody? Because Jake's on the phone with us. You want to say hi to Jake? Hello. Hi. 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 You ready to go to bed? They just pulled his teeth out. I don't know. They pulled Jake's teeth out of his face. Did you know that? Go! Whoa! Don't scream in the mic. Yeah. That's why you got to brush your teeth. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Take his care teeth of your fell teeth. Out. The don't dentist, be sick. The dentist drilled a hole in his face and then put bubble gum in the hole. Oh, goodness, No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get out of here, everybody. Jake, thanks. We'll see you tomorrow for out of nowhere. Out of nowhere tomorrow night. We're on the hunt, baby. I don't know. Um. Oh, Brenna. Um. Oh wait, we gotta do a show tune. People are saying. Oh, look out for that. I just realized that we got another donut. Hold on, let me play this. Show tune. Okay, here we go. What do we gotta do? We gotta sing something. What do you? Shit bomb. What do you wanna sing? You become.
A shit bomb. You want to sing poopy? Like, come on. Don't be gross. Um, JC has foot rub. Thank you. Turkey. Turkey? What do you mean turkey? <laughs> like do you, the turkey donation song? <laughs> you don't even know what that is. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's my shirt is a turkey. Um, No, like what? Like a song. I don't know. Show. What's a show? I mean, I don't like show tunes. Let's be um, honest. How about... How about... Shit bomb! You Have become a, a shit bomb. Oh, really? Show tune time, please. James Mesner, thanks for the $2, James. What'd you say, Bren? Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner? <laughs> Kylie Jenner, that's... Are you talking about Miley Cyrus? Kylie Jenner, isn't that... That's, um... Caitlyn Jenner. Are you talking about Caitlyn Jenner? Like... Hey guys, it's me, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Kylie Jenner? You talking about Miley Cyrus? You talking about Miley Cyrus? Oh you talking about Miley Cyrus? Um, Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Kate. Kate, Kate Perry? Okay. What Kate Perry song? Um, any Kate Perry song. Katy Perry. That's not one which is, like screams all the way up to the lungs. Maybe. All right. Well, you got to go to bed. So, um, how that about one. firework? Yeah. Or the lion one, the roar one. No. This one. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna sing this? Um, I guess. Oh. No. You don't know this one though, do you? I don't like singing. It's very yeah. It has stage right. I'll read one part. You of don't it. have stage fright. What are you okay. talking about? I do. Not at home, you don't. Do you want me to put on with the words? We're gonna get a copyright though. I can't do that. We'll get a copyright. Yeah, copyrighted when, when copyright is is when you use somebody else's song without permission. Right. <laughs> and if you did. Then you might get kicked off of YouTube. I don't know. And something like that. How do you know this? I have no idea. Anyway, whatever. We're out of here. Well, maybe next time. We'll practice it, James. We'll practice it for next time. No. Just, just make it say the words. You gotta, you gotta say the words. No. Make it say the words. Well, then we'll get a copyright. We'll get a copyright for that. How about we do... I don't, I don't like singing. Let's do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How about that? No, that's a baby song. It's a baby song, but like at least we can sing it like without being in trouble, like right? No. Look at this. Ready? Watch this. Watch how funny this is. Ready? Watch this. Watch your daddy do this. Watch this. Baby poo-poo does the poo-poo. Twinkle See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow for Out of Nowhere. Sign up on Patreon. Yay. It will pay for Brenna's um, shrink. Peace out. Give him the peace. Give him the peace out. Brenna, can you believe it? Today, they elect. Today, Joe Biden took office. Joe Biden took office, and, and Trump had to leave the White House. What do you think about that? Uh, Trump is no longer the president. Joe Biden is now the president. Heads turn around on the chicken's face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm serious. Trump isn't the president anymore. <laughs> Trump is not the president anymore. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Is that f is that good that Trump's not the president, or do you want Biden? Do you want Trump to be the president again? 
<laughs> no, yes. <laughs> oh, you got the giggles. You're a mess. All right, good night, everybody. Peace. I'm pooping out of here. Hey, AJ Adams, thanks for the 333, man. AJ Adams with the dono, 333. And I'll play I'll, I'll play that tomorrow. Oh, my God. I'm going to oh get God. a spider and put it on your face. No, you're not. I'm going to get a spider and I'm going to put it on your face.